This is the uh, counterpoints uh, for Gary McDade's uh, video. I've been making counterpoints because years ago he cut me off. He cut off my daughter. He cut off all the family I've ever had. Um, and uh, he is very stern and believing the commentaries that the Church of Christ have. And uh, this video I can really point it out really well because he makes a video of um, can we believe Jesus and what are we supposed to believe uh, believing Jesus and um, this is my counterpoint video and um, um, the the commentaries uh, he did not address this um, because he's not addressing anything I say I've left messages uh, I, I, I get them deleted off of his page um, I've had friends try to contact him uh, to mediate uh, questions uh, so that he can maybe make a, a YouTube that had truth in it. Um, you know, uh, he said we're to worship in spirit and in truth, but I'm going to go over how he avoids the truth to teach the commentaries that say that the Church of Christ is the oneness and the Church of Christ is the one fold in this video. He says the one fold is the Church of Christ, and he says that the worship is to be done in the Church of Christ only. The worshiping of God is to be only done in the Church of Christ. And the, he, he's following commentaries that are men made up thousands of years ago, uh, maybe not quite that long in the Church of Christ. Commentaries may not be but a hundred years old. Um, but he's following man's commentary on that um, because he says Jesus says I will bring them into one fold and Gary McDade says the church of Christ is so that that way he can preach and he can bring people into the one fold Gary McDade can take the responsibility for baptizing a Catholic that left the fold that's another point that I have on here uh, that Gary McDade baptized a Catholic man, he said, and then he left. He left the fold where he was baptized at and became a believer. And no one is watching over his soul. Um, and, and they believe that the elders are shepherds. And that excludes Jesus' being able to shepherd the, the flock if it's truly his flock to shepherd. Um, then, uh, then it's Christ uh, that oversees uh, the development of, of, of everyone, and it's Christ who brings you into the one fold. But Gary McDade says that it's the Church of Christ who brings you into the one fold, and it's the Church of Christ where you worship God. But I'm going to straighten that out because um, uh he says, where are two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. We know this verse. And Gary McDay didn't want to bring that up because that means that if two or three people are, are together worshiping God and, and the church of Christ can't oversee them, then they honestly believe that they are not worshiping God because they, they have a commentary that Gary McDay will not bring out and show. Okay, you have to bring this out if you believe it. If you believe the commentary that teaches this, and he believes the commentary in the Church of Christ, they believe this commentary, and they will not bring it out and show it. They try to act like it's in Scripture, but they but you saw he jumped around several Scriptures, and he takes 15 minutes. This video will not be five minutes, and, and I will expose everything that he's talking about. But he made a 30-minute video, and I can't get I can't get 15 minutes of record time to present what I want to say. And he beat around the bush to jump to passages about one fold for 15 minutes to try to point out that hey, maybe the fold is the Church of Christ, and that's not what that's about. Jesus said, "I will bring them into one fold," and that's talking about everyone, everyone. Not just Jews, not just select Gentiles, not just select people that he selects, but he says everyone. Because Gary McDade did not address the last video I made where he, he called the oneness the church of Christ. And 
the oneness in that passage, the context is that the glory that thou gavest me, I gave them that they may be one. And so God, Jesus has put the glory into us, into everyone, not just the Church of Christ members. And the commentary needs to be revealed to show you that Satan is leading Gary McDade's thoughts and Satan is leading the Church of Christ, okay? Because Jesus said that he already put the glory into everyone and that it's up to him to bring everyone into one fold. And the Church of Christ commentary is not being pulled off the shelf. It's not being pulled off the shelf. It needs to be pulled off the shelf behind him in those books that he reveres more than the Bible. And, um, and so they believe that the elders are the shepherds, uh, not Jesus, is, uh, uh, even though uh, they say Jesus is the head, but um, they have shepherds over the flock so that they can determine who is saved and who's not. And, you know, that's up to God. Uh, and Jesus to determine that and that's what's playing these passages and um, and so I've covered the worship I've covered the one fold and the other thing is that the water baptism that Gary McDade is mentioning that saves you and and he says that Jesus said believe and whoever believes and be baptized shall be saved and he's referring to John's baptism of water John's baptism but note that I put this in the other YouTube about Gary McDay, that Jesus says, be baptized. It's in the name of Jesus that you are to be baptized. And that is the spirit baptism that Jesus brought. That is Jesus's baptism, the spirit baptism. And it is into the name of Jesus and all the accounts of baptism after Jesus from starting from the day of Pentecost. They were all to be baptized into the name of Jesus, calling on the name of the Lord, or in the name of Jesus. And Jesus' baptism was spirit. Jesus' baptism, not John's baptism, and not Gary McDade's baptism of water, and not John's baptism of water, because it's clear that that will not save you. And there's a whole chapter about the, that the conscience must be changed, not just jump in some water and, and be saved because you did the right work. And so Gary tries to point out that it's a work that saves you and that this water baptism is the work. But it's a spirit baptism and uh, that's not a work. Uh, the, spirit, um, the spirit baptism is of Jesus' being baptized in Jesus' name under the spirit baptism and um, and, and that is not just being put in water to say, hey, I did something um, of that nature. Because this spirit baptism will fall on everyone in the last days and everyone will be in one fold. This is going to take place at the end of time, at the, and the, the judgment day. And, and not uh, right now in a church of Christ somewhere. Uh, and the church of Christ, you know, my dad said he saved the Catholic man. He made them believe that that he's going to be um, baptized and brought into one fold at that moment in Tiftonia. And he convinced that Catholic man that, and he went on his way thinking he's in the one fold. But that's going to happen at the end of time, of course, when everyone is going to be brought into one fold. So I've covered all these points in nine minutes Gary McDay took 30 minutes and he wasted 15 minutes beating about the bushes and trying to trying to develop the commentary that's on the shelf behind him. He needs to break that out. Uh, if you have comments, you can leave it on my page and I answer my comments. I answer I answer for for months. I've been answering comments from people. A year I've been answering the same person commenting on my page and me on their page. And so I, I respond, and there is truth and, and spirit that I can discuss with people. Gary McDade, there's no spirit. It's blaspheme the spirit. That's why he won't talk to his son, because it's blaspheme the spirit with Gary McDade. It's not love the spirit. It's not truth and spirit. It's blaspheme the spirit with the church of Christ. 
I can, I can, I can also tell you that school of preaching, they stand behind blaspheming people's spirit that want to talk about truth. Okay, 